You are watching Lestrade Games here on Twitch.tv and YouTube.com. Tonight we are doing Creature of Thinking Strain and a Soul's Bane. If this is your first time checking out this stream or video, please be sure to hit that like button or that follow button or that subscribe button and check out all the other content on this channel. And now, let's get right into the questing. Alrighty! I know we're a bit late, and by a bit late, I mean, I mean I'm real late. I had, see it's 10:43 right now. So uh Yeah. Ugh, I don't like being late, but that's just the way. That's just the way it is sometimes. You just can't you just can't help it. But that's all right. So we'll uh We'll get this boat boat show going right now. All right. So for Creature of Thinking Strain, we need a hammer. We need the ghost amulet. We need a silver bar. So we need to buy a silver bar because I have the other the, those other things already. So silver bar, buy. Whoops. Actually, can I buy a lightning rod? No. All right. What about a rod? No. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay. Oh, dang it. I didn't. I didn't bump it up. You know, I got to pay them premium prices. I got to pay them premium prices. No, I, I always do that. Boom. There we go. Got it. All right. Uh, I need bronze. Bronze wire. There it is. Found it. Also, let's let's turn on that music. That sweet RuneScape music. I mean, three of these. Boom. I got a needle. I got thread. I got a spade. Probably got a holy. Do I? Can I? Can you buy? Echo? No, you can't buy Echo tokens. So, <laughs> why is that even suggested? I don't know. Oh, oops. We don't need another situation where I collect the stuff and you know, you know, you've you've watched you've if you've watched before, you know what I'm talking about. I'll get the stuff and then I'll never put it in my inventory. That's just. What happens? Okay, spade. Needle. Three thread. Come on. Come on. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Thread. We need to boom boom. Now we got five. Uh, a hundred coins. One law, one air. Well, we'll grab that just in case. Okay, and for a soul's bane, we need food, super anti-poison, armor, ranged method of attacking. Okay. We'll get that stuff later because uh, that won't be that hard. So we'll go ahead. Let's go ahead and bank what we don't need. We don't need that. 
And we just need, let's just do, I know I always like to take a ridiculous amount of money, but we'll just do 1K and that'll be fine. All right, so now we can leave and we gotta go all the way to my favorite place of Canfis, Canifis, the spooky doopy place. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the spookiest... The spookiest place in all of Runescape. Okay. Two spooks. All right. And we're running to Canifus. Canfus, Kun Canifus, however it's pronounced. Cana, Cane, could be Canefus, or could be Can Ifus. Too many choices. All right, so we've already, technically I've started this quest just so I can get access to the experiments to uh, train on melee, which uh, is pretty effective. I don't know if it's effective still, uh, but definitely that's how I trained in the past. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so, I mean, uh, that's, I mean, that's my default training area for melee. I know spiders are good. Um, since they're kind of AFKable a little bit, since they're auto attack. But experiments, to me, are pretty decent. All right, we need to go in here and we need to pray at this altar because I'm tired of having no prayer. Bam! For prayer. Oop, man, the door closed, though. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh boy. I tell you, the RuneScape subreddit today has just not been a good place. They made a determination on mod Jed. Jed, Jeb, Jed. And it was not the one that people thought. It's the one that I... Pff, I didn't have any skin in the game, so I really didn't care, but... I just think it's funny. Uh, I knew people would freak out either way. Uh, but, whatever. Again, no, not really something I 
was too worried about anyway. Oops. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. I always take a couple of I'm taking a couple seconds to type something and it's, I just stop walking and then, you know. It's so, it's so exciting. All right. So since we started it, we got to find the head. And we got to talk to this guy back here who's headless. And he shall tell us what we wish to know. <coughs> what happened to your head? Oh! Was in my old auntie's forest. To the south, digging a pit for my old master. Old Frankenstein. When would you believe it? Someone chopped me head off! Awful bad luck, won't it? Oh yes, dreadful bad luck. So I thinks to myself, I don't need any head to be getting on with me gardening long as I got me hands and me spade. Would you show me where the place was? Well, oh, I suppose I got ten minutes to spare. All right, so he's gonna follow us for 10 minutes. And we gotta go to this location, which... No, I gotta look. F oh God. No. Oh, here it is. All right, yep, it's here. So we're going to travel there. And I don't know how this guy talks and he's got no head. But I'm not going to question it too much, I guess. Um, even though it, it doesn't make sense. Obviously. But what do I know? I'm not... I'm not the one making the, the quest. Oh, God damn it. I hate these things. I hate these things too. How did I get poisoned? Aha! Okay, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Got guts to go. Bye bye. <laughs> Not safe. All right, so we got the head. Now we gotta get the brain. Go to the bar in the south of Canifis. Talk to Roy Rorivar, the bartender. Again, I don't... Who comes up with these names? I'm not sure who does. But it's not me. I wouldn't come up with any better names, though, so... I guess I can't be too mad. No, that's not what I want.
There he is. Hello there. Hey, greetings, traveler. Welcome to the Hair of the Dog Tavern. What can I do for you? Let me see here. Oh, a pickled brain. Okay, I just gotta... Can I just take this? You're interested in our specialty, I see. Would you like to buy some? What exactly is in the jar? Pickled brain, my friend. Only 50 gold to you. Ugh. Pickled brain from what animal? Animal? Don't be disgusting, man. No, this is a human brain. Only the best for my customers. I'll buy one, please. Ah, very wise choice, sir. Don't eat it all at once. Savor every morsel. That's my advice to you. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so we need to go down. Uh, search the West Bookcase for the joy of grave digging and you will find a marble amulet. Search that. We already did that. Okay, all right, so now we just need to go to uh, the digging place, as I like to call it. So this is where, so normally you could start this quest and just get and you just want to do the experiment killing for leveling. Um, but obviously, we're not doing that. We're going to finish the quest. So basically what you do is you come over here. And you put a symbol in here. Uh, star amulet and then allows you to push this back and then you go down to this trap door and down here are his failed experiments and the horse lady one has the key and you can only kill one of those uh, to get the key and then you can never kill them again uh, but these sheep and spider experiments have really high health and you can use them to level up attack, strength, and defense um, really efficiently because they hit zeros. You don't need food. Um, and you can get really high hits on them and get really nice experience. At least that was how it used to be. I don't know if that's still the case. We'll uh, experiment with that here. Ha! Let's see. We'll experiment with that here in a second after I kill this and get the cavern key. So we have the cavern key. Let me see how much health this has. Yeah, 101 health. Uh, and they hit zeros. And you can get some really nice uh, hits on them. And get some really good exper experience pretty fast by doing this. Now, it's not really that, it's not really that AFK. I mean, obviously, you can AFK during this attack section uh but you do have to click to attack but it's not bad there's enough spots around and um again it's easy you don't have to bring food you can stay down here forever and just kill these things so again i don't know if that's still efficient or not i haven't looked at the new meta for leveling um but that's just how I used to do it. Burn 
All right, let's get ourselves some body parts. And we got a torso. We got some arms. And we got some legs. All right. Okay, so we need to use this with this. And you squeeze the pickled brain into the decapitated head. Can I cross the bridge? Do I just, do I, will I literally just stand here? Okay, I guess so. Uh, I thought it at least give me like, you can't do that, dummy. The bridge is out. But <sighs> that's not the case. Burn, 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 burn. All right, so now we're going to come back to the castle. Give Finkenstrain his body parts. And then we need to finish up his machine because he's worthless. I have some body parts for you. Great! You've brought me some arms. Excellent! You've brought me some legs. And splendid! You've brought me a torso. Fantastic! You've brought me a head. Superb! I skipped the dialogue again. Oh, bother. I haven't got the needle and thread. Go get me a needle and I'll need five lots of thread. Yeah, I got that for you. Where are my needle and thread, Lestrade? Ah, needle, wonderful. Some thread, excellent. Thinking Strain uses the needle and thread to sew the body parts together. Soon a hideous creature lies inanimate on the ritual table. Ah, perfect. But I need one more thing from you. Flesh and bones by themselves do not make life. Really? I have honed to perfection an ancient ritual that will give life to this creature. But for this I must harness the very power of nature! And what power is this? The power of lightning. Sorry, can't make lightning. You've got the wrong man. Silence! You're... Insolent? Alright, well... That's... That's how we want to play. Silence! Your insolent tongue! The storm that brews overhead will create the lightning. What I need 
you to do is repair the lightning conductor on the balcony above. Repair the lightning conductor, right. Can I have a break soon? By law, I'm entitled to 15 minutes every... Repair the conductor and be gone! Okay. You now need to fix the rod so that the castle will get struck by lightning, bringing the monster to life. Ask the gardener ghost for the shed key. Notice on some occasions the ghost doesn't reappear after leading him to the grave near, near the haunted woods. Relog in to fix this issue. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Oh, but he, he, he reappeared. That's fine. Do you know where the key to the shed is? Got it right here in my pocket. Here you go. Nice. All right. So now we go in the shed here. I'm guessing this is the shed. You find the garden brush in the cupboard. The shed is found in the very north the castle. Go inside, search the cover for the garden brush. Just east of the shed is a pile of canes. Take three of the garden canes. Those. Two and three. Uh, and then attach them with the bronze wire. What? What? Oh, use them on the brush. Boom. All right. This will create an extended brush, making it suitable for a chimney sweeping. Go upstairs and use it on the fireplace in the west room to get the conductor mold. All right, so we're going to get the conductor mold now, I guess. Say the west side. Yeah, in the west room. So we'll go upstairs over here. And we'll use the extended brush with the fireplace. And there we go. Once you have the mold, you need to go to the furnace. Notice on some occasions you'll be unable to make the conductor. Okay. The nearest one is in Port Phasmataz. Two echo tokens are needed to enter free if blah 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 the easiest way to do this is to purchase a bucket and a pot in the general store in canvas then kill undead chickens and cows near port phasmus in order to earn five echo tokens a teleport to falador or lumbridge then varak will work too alternatively if you have access to the fairy rings you can use the zanaris furnace directly north of the zanaris fairy ring Okay. Well, basically, I just need to get... I need to mold this, and... Let me see here. Where is Port Phasmataz? This is Fort Fa Port Phasmataz. Let's do that route. We'll get... We'll get the... The tokens... So I guess okay. So we need it. We need a bucket and a pot, which that's interesting. But uh, I guess whatever.
pot and bucket. Whoops. Hold on, I gotta... Alright, we're going to Port Phasmataz. Sorry, I'm I'm very distracted right now. I'm sending sending someone something and also trying to stream at the same time is not efficient. Efficiency level zero. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find chickens and cows. Which, okay, I'm not really... <sighs> I'm not really understanding what I need to do here. The easiest way to do this is to purchase a book and deposit the general store on canvas and then kill undead chickens and cows near Port Phasmats in order to earn five eco tokens. Okay, well, where are they at? Maybe here? Yeah. Let's go this way. This seems it seems to look like a farm. So we'll check there. Womp womp womp. Aha! Here we go. So what do I... Players need two of them to purchase access to the city if you have not completed the Ghost of Hawaii quest or buy Ale Yeast. The Bone Crusher. And each token gives 25 charges. Players can earn eco tokens by worshiping the, at the Echo Funtis. Five tokens are granted per worship. Players can only worship 200 times before Echo Funtis is full. Players claim their. You must have bones, empty pot, and buckets. Okay. Sure. Whatever, whatever you say.
Guess we'll just get some bones. No bones about it. Boneless chicken. You don't have any ectoplasmum or crushed bones to put into the ectofungus. Is there like a bone crusher or... There is! Oops. Aha! See, now I get it. Now, now I'm getting it. All right, now, now we go here. Now I can worship. How do I get the ectoplasm? Okay, so now I gotta go underneath it? Is that how this works? I guess so. I get down there god this is a crap show no I want to climb down the stairs this is so bad I should have just gone to I should have just gone to Falador why didn't I Okay, I did it. I got I got the echo plasma. Yes. Okay, now I can worship. Boom. Now what does that get me? Okay, so I gotta speak to the ghost disciples. Yay! I'd like to enter. Here are your two tokens. Uh, fantastic. Thank God. Just want to use your stupid furnace. That's, that's the only reason. It's the only reason I'm here. There's nothing, there's nothing else. Okay. Maybe I need to use the mold. Oh, lightning rod. There we go. Boom! Alright, now we gotta make it back. 
we did all that that work and now we got to make it back to f think and strain back to the think and strains castle oh jeez God, not the vampires again. Stay back. You too, leeches. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one wants you. Nobody likes you, vampires. Stop. You're hurting me. Don't like it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to talk to the Finken strain. Uh, no, I don't need to talk to the Finken strain. Okay. I need. Take the stairs on either east or western side of the castle. Watch it the furthest south and climb up the ladder. Okay, so we need to go up. We need to go up stars. Sorry, I need a place. I need a. I need to place the. the rod obviously thinking strain doesn't want it all right so we need to open this door oh no to the south this one gotta open this door we're gonna climb up and we're gonna repair the lightning rod yeah man you repair the lightning conductor not one moment too soon, a tremendous bolt of lightning melts the new lightning conductor and power blazes throughout the castle, if only briefly. Nice. All right, so we're going to talk to Fink and Strain again. So, did it work then? Yes! I'm afraid it did, Lestrade. All too well. I can't see it anywhere. I tricked it into going up to the tower where there, there it remains imprisoned. So the creature wasn't all you'd hoped then? Oh, what have I done? Oh, I see. You're, we're developing a sense of right and wrong now, are we? Bit late for that, I'd say. I have no control over it. It's coming to get me! What do you want me to do about it? Destroy it! Take the key to the tower and take back the life I never should have granted! Okay, so now we get to go back upstairs. I know, right? It's a great, great idea. Should have done it in the first place. But what are you gonna do? Hindsight's twenty twenty.
So we talk to... As Lord Rologarth. All right. I am commanded to destroy you, creature. Oh, that's not very <coughs> nice. Are you feeling okay? Absolutely. Never <sighs> better. You don't look very dangerous. How do I look? You really don't know, do you? Have a look for yourself. The creature stumbles over towards the mirror, focuses upon his reflection, and... Ah! The creature becomes instantly sober. Horror. All, all too evident in his undead eyes. I'm sorry, I suppose I'm par partly to blame for this. No, it was him, I wager. Finkenstrain, wasn't it? He's brought me back to life. Who were you? I was Rologoth, Lord of the no North Coast. This castle was once mine. Frankenstein was the castle doctor. So the castle wasn't really abandoned when when he found it. Is that what he told you? No, no. This castle was once full of people in life. Frankenstein advised me to sell them to the vampires, which I am sad to say I did. I found your brain in a jar in Canifus. So he must have sold you too. Of course, of that I will not speak. There lie memories that should rest with the dead, the living unable to bear them. That's it. I'm leaving this dreadful place, whether I get paid or not. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Only one. Please stop Frankenstein from carrying on his experiments. Once and for all, so that no other poor soul has to endure suffering such as I, and that of my people. Okay. Go back downstairs and pickpocket Finkenstrain. You need thieving level 25. Dr. Finkenstrain, steal the Karos. Once done, you will complete the quest. Alrighty. We just gotta pickpocket a guy and it's all over. Easy quest ending. That's what I always say. Brrr. And the quest is complete! We get two quest points, the Ring of Karos, and a 1,000 Thieving XP. We now have 105 quest points. If you were doing this from level 5, you would have 31 Thieving and 88 quest points. Did I say level 5? Level 3. I don't know what that does, but I'm wearing it. All right. So now, on to a soul's bane. But first, we'll teleport to Varak to start the quest. Because I feel like that's a shorter walk. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Whatever. I'm still going to teleport there. Get the stuff that I need. All that jazz. All right, so we need two of these, one of those. 
and Varak. All right, for a soul's bane, we need food. Actually, let's dump all this stuff. Okay, uh, this goes here. This goes, I guess, here. This needs to go here. This here. This there, this there. This there, this that. Very good! Okay, uh, so we need food. That's enough. Some anti-poison. It says super, but I don't know. And ranged method of attacking. Do I have a bow? Can I use this? No, oh, that's a cursed goblin bow. That's... Okay, what's the best range stuff that I can use? A level 30. Uh, probably crossbow at this point. Steel crossbow? That's really not that great. Uh, oh, okay. I can use... I can use knives, so I guess I'll do that. Yeah, because I think, let's see, well, yeah, let's do Throne. Uh, wait, do I really need range? That's the question, do I really need it? I don't think I do. I don't think I do need range. Oh, I need a rope. Oh, well, I, it looks like it's giving me weapons, so. <sighs> All right, so we'll do that. I um, guess I'll just take more food. That works. And rope, which I won't get back. <sighs> I think I'm pretty well leveled for this. It should be. It's level forty. Level forty enemy is not 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 that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. All right, so we talked to Luna. That's what I'm going to call her. Hi there. Uh, hello. What's this big hole in the ground all about? Oh, I wish I knew for sure. All I do know is that it opened seemingly by itself a few months ago. It was first discovered by my students over at the dig site. A few of which have gone down there but never returned. They told me about it straight away. So why is it important to you? A few reasons, but 
I think the situation is beyond help now. What situation? Maybe I can help. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm waiting to see my son, Tolna. Don't suppose you've seen him? Your son, Tolna? I don't know. What does he look like? I... I don't really know. You don't know what your own son looks like? No, you see, I haven't seen him for... for 25 years now. He just ran away one day and never returned. I'm hoping he's down this rift as I know he headed in this direction. My husband went to look... But he hasn't returned for days. Would you like me to go down and look for your husband and son? You would do that? Oh, thank you so much. Don't worry, I'll investigate. Thank you. You can use a rope to get into the rift to just attach it to the edge. No problem. Be careful. No. No! There we go. Sheesh. Why should I, Tolna, be trapped in such a wretched place? Ugh, it's not fair. Feel my anger! When you get to this room, you see a weapons rack. Unwield your weapon and select any of the weapons from the rack and wield it. There are four types of monsters in the room. And each is killed with a specific weapon. Oh. Alright. So, sword. Sword is Angry Unicorn. Boom! We did a 24! We did a 14! A 38! Another 38! A 2. A 16! An 11! A 29, people! Another 11. And an 18. BAM! Gone! We'll take the spear. And the spear, we will kill the angry bear. A 45. A 41. Another 41. A 7. A 12. A 9. A 3. A 4. A 39! It has been destroyed. No, you stupid goblin. We can't kill you with a spear. The mace, we shall kill the rat. A 36! A 13! A 39! An 8! 
A one. A zero. A forty-five! A twenty-six! A thirty-six! I know I'm peeking this mic like so hard. I don't care. This is too much fun shouting these numbers. The battle axe. And we shall kill the goblin with it. A 35! Ooh, he hit me for a 5. I got him with a 20, though. A 40! A 38! A 9. A 29! And then another 29 to finish him off. Oh, I just had to kill one type of monster. Well, that's so fun. I like switching around the weapons. Now I just gotta kill goblins. This isn't as fun. Okay, well, maybe I... Okay. Guess I'll kill this bear again. Is that the spear? Yeah, that was the spear. Boom! Now we're... Now we're... Now we're dealing some real damage. 16. 32. A 40. Ah! My rage is building! It's getting so close to the tippity top. It's about to boil over. A seven. Come on. A four. Come on. A thirty-two! A thirty-three! A forty-three! A forty! So angry! A two hundred! A two hundred! Wow, how did I do that? There's something truly mental about this place. Go mental! Where are you going? I... I can't live here with your rules anymore, mother. I'm tired of working hard for every little money. There's great wealth that's mine f for the taking. But why? We're surviving perfectly fine on what we're earning. I'm tired of your pathetic outlook. Goodbye. Tona! Tona! We go into the next room. Let's see what's there. It's so quiet and dark. I fear I may never escape this horrid place. Mom, Dad, help me. In the room, you have to search the dark holes, and some of them you will find fear reapers. There will be a small jump scare when you search the hole. You have to kill around five or six before your character will state 
they are no longer afraid and may proceed to the next room. Hmm, no light sources, so why can I see, still see down here? This can't be just a simple dungeon. Alrighty. Gotta, guess we gotta look in this black, this dark hole. Is anybody there? Ah! These things are spooky scary. I need to kill them right away. I don't like looking in these holes, but I must. Oh, look inside. Huh? That one was safe. Nothing in that one. Ah! Get this thing away! I'm so scared. <sighs> oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not as afraid, but I'm also not happy about. Is it gonna jump? Is it gonna jump out? Oh God! Thank, thank, thank goodness. Oh. <sighs> Not so scared anymore. Oh God! Let's all right. Let's look in this hole. Let's look in this one. Oh! Let's look in it again. Oh! Thank goodness. Okay. Twice in a row. That's what I like to see. All right. Let's look in this one. All right, let's look in this first one again. Ah! Got me again. It's fine though, I guess. I think I can handle it. Just, just gotta breathe. Don't get too scared. Okay. All right, so gotta keep looking in those those holes. What? Ah! God dang! At least I did a fifteen to it. I mean, whew. All right, now we can enter. What? I thought. Oh, it's so I'm no longer afraid. This is not as scary. Boom, no jump scare for me. Got him. Ha ha! Nothing, nothing jumped out at me. Uh-uh. Freaking jump scares. There's too much fear in this room. Phew! I don't feel so scared now. This feels like the a figment of my of someone's imagination. Whoa. That butthole took him.
Ooh, no, we, this one. There we go. Can't believe that butthole took him like that. Where am I? How long have I been here? Am I still the person I once was? Or why am I so confused? In this room, we have to kill confusion beasts. One, only one of them is real at the time. Others are illusions, and you will not inflict any damage on these, but you will get combat XP. They will just disappear after you hit zeros on them eight times. Keep attacking the beast until you find the real one. Which you will actually damage and kill. No, if you do not have, you don't have to kill illusions. You can simply run to the opposite corner to disengage and then attack another. Once you kill the real one, the confusing doors will vanish and the rest of the beast will respawn. Repeat this process until only one door remains. All right. We'll do this. No, it doesn't. Run away. Run away! No. Boom! Found the real one! No. No. Okay, we gotta do this until the doors disappear. Boom! First try! First try! Found the real one. How about that? How about that? What about this guy? Nope. Okay. I bet it's this one. Nope. Okay. Uh. Let's try this one. No, oh, this one seems real. Damn it! Oh, God dang it. No, I ran away. What? God, now I'm confused. Now I don't know which ones that I've done. They've moved around too many times. Oh God. All right, what about this one? I'm just gonna have to hit it because I can't. Oh Jesus. There we go. Whew. I knew it was around here. But it's this 
this one. Damn it, it's not. Damn it. Yeah, got it. That's not true. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, there was something that was... One of my systems is, is completely wrong right now. Okay, now it's back to working. Jesus, okay. Whatever, I'll just attack this until it's gone. Boom. Uh, I think it's this one. Nah! Disappear! This one. Damn it. This one. Yeah. Ah, the exit is now clear. This toll in this mine really is a mess. Leave me? But I don't want to. How can you say that? I've done nothing wrong. Ah! What's the point? No one will ever help me. I'm not worth anything. Will anyone ever combat my hopelessness? All right, in this room, You'll find fine hopeless creatures. They need to be killed three times each to make them die. Okay. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll kill them three. Three times! Not two times! 
Three times! So many times they gotta be taught a lesson. Yeah, this is hard work. You gotta kill, you gotta teach these people three lessons. Of course it's hard work. What? What? This guy? This guy? He was mad because I killed his friend? Huh? Now he wants a piece of the action? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Yeah, that's right. Hey, your, your friend may be uh, living for a little while. But, uh... That doesn't mean Jack Baloney. We're getting some ones... Oh, some 14s in there. Yeah, that's... And then a 9. Oh, yeah. Now this guy. Now his friend's like, You killed my friend for protecting my friend! I will come and avenge. But it's hopeless. Eight. One. 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 Just one more hopeless creature to kill three times. One last time. Oh, open with a six time. With a six time. A bridge of hope. Tolna should feel that help is at hand by now. Wow, this is a bridge of hope. It's so wonderful. You get to fight Tolna, three-headed beast. Beware, as this is multi-combat zone, so the three heads can attack you at once. They are not very strong, but they attack quickly and will poison you, so bring anti-poison. Blah, 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 blah. Son, is that you? Please speak to me, Tona. Why should I speak to you? Besides, I'm no longer the boy you once knew. What do you mean? You always be my son. No. Something evil in this dungeon has morphed my body and mind. There must be a way. Don't give up so easily. Don't give up. You had your chance to help me 25 years ago. It's taken you. Sorry. 
but your mother and I tried so hard to find you. Lies. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Your father isn't lying. Ha! Huh. Look, if that's the way you think, then you shall both die. Psh. This kid. I'm opening up with 16s. You got nothing on me. Get a little anti-poison action in there. Psh. Got another 16. One head's almost down. Can't even stand a chance. Boom. A 2. Dead. A 15. Gone. A 9. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah, in with that 14. Alright, just to start off with a 2. A 16! A 16! It's going down! A 13. Major damage. In that 4, in the number with a 3. Goodbye, you evil creature, Tolna. Tolna? Ugh. Sorry, what happened? You've been trapped down here for years. I've come to rescue you on behalf of your parents. Oh, yeah? I was looking for the legacy of a civilization that used to live down here. Son! Father? I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? Don't worry. I'm just glad that you're back to yourself. Are you okay? I'm fine. My memories are slowly returning. How's mother? She misses you dearly. Where is she? She's up at the surface waiting for you. Thank you, traveler. I'm glad my wife and I never gave up hope. We should return to her and tell her the good news. Thank you so much. Like, I truly owe you for your help. I'm just glad I could help. Hello, Tolna. Hi, thanks again for saving me. I'm so glad to be out of that horrible place. I was foolish to ignore my parents' warnings when I ran away that day. Luckily, I've been able to patch things up with them, so they've returned home with a peace of mind. What exactly happened to you down there? I managed to find the remnants of the ancient civilization that the stories talked about. It seems people used to worship a god there years ago in numbers far greater than a simple cult following. Sadly, there is little remaining, so I have nothing else to tell. As soon as I entered the area, the ground swallowed me whole. I felt there was something watching, waiting. It's like there is some evil under the ground that wanted to me to suffer, as if it got some sort of empowerment from it. At least, whatever it is, it doesn't want to reveal itself to the world yet. At least we have a warning. Did you manage to retrieve anything? Not really. Just a few coins, which you're welcome to have. Thanks, so what are you going to do now? I've decided to keep open the rift. There is a part of it that is perfectly laid out for combat training. And remnants of my... Subconscious... Remain in there. Sorry, I was like struggle reading that. I want to show people the problems I have faced so that they may learn from them. You're welcome to go down there and practice fighting anytime. Thanks. Boop, 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 boop! One quest point, 500 defense, 500 hit points, 500 gold coins. Access to the dungeon of Tolna.
of Tona. Of Tona. If you were doing this from level 3, you would have 27 hit points and 32 defense. And 89 quest points. Otisha! Sorry, Sergeant Damon. I will not be doing your stupid training. Because it's dumb! All right, let's put this stuff away. Got my cannonball money and all that. All right, so next time, I think we'll, let me see here. Did I do that one? Yeah, okay. Huh. Next time we'll do the Lost Tribe and Death of the Dorgishan. What is that about? Okay, so the lost tribe and death of the Dorgenshun will be our next quests. And with that, that is going to be the end of our stream slash video. So if you're watching live, I want to thank you for watching live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to leave a comment down below on if you like this stuff, what other stuff should I explore in RuneScape when I'm done with the quest. Is there any quests that you're looking forward to? Um, and also leave a like button and share it. And then go over to Twitch and hit that follow or subscribe button there. That way you can join us live at 9 p.m. Eastern every weekday. I'm going to thank all of those people that have been watching those my videos. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if you want, you can support me through subscribing on Twitch or my Patreon. But you don't have to. And we'll see you in the next video. Slash stream.